A few minutes to 7 p.m. on Tuesday, road users encountered a major rush hour as many scrambled to get to their homes in time. With the darkness taking over, security agencies spread across the country to enforce the curfew. By 9 p.m., some people are still struggling to get home, even as the security officials set roadblocks to catch offenders. Vehicles were being searched. In Massacre, a few Kagolori drivers who were found with passengers from as far as Kampala were stopped. Kampala police report that scores were arrested in the process. The 60 suspects are currently detained in different police stations and will be charged accordingly depending on circumstances under which they were arrested. Furthermore, a few vehicles were impounded at checkpoints. In the meantime, there was concern about the conduct of the local defense unit officers during the curfew. Among these is Innocent Muganzi, a resident of Kulambilo, who claims that the LDUs attacked him from his home. Muganzi's story was backed by his neighbors. Open here, open here. You you not fail to get one or two people that go against the guy. That's why we have the laws to make sure we bring them back on, on, on board. But then uh, in the military, we do not have chances. We don't give those chances of mistakes. Police spokesperson Fred Nanga explains how the current curfew should be observed by all Ugandans. Uh, the curfew uh, that we are enforcing is uh, not that one of a total lockdown. Now the one that we are enforcing uh, right now is uh, uh, a controlled one where there is controlled and guided movement. Those arrested will be scrutinized and charged in court. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.